Hi, my name is Alejandro Hoyos. I'm a tech evangelist. And today I have the pleasure to have with me uh, Jason Shea. Hi, Jason. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So please tell us, uh, what do you do here at Intel? Yeah, I'm a technical marketing engineer and my primary focus is on uh, desktop CPUs. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So I heard you have a special treat for us today. So what do you have? Yes, uh, I'm here teasing uh, a brand new processor that I can't name just yet, um, but it's our first production CPU that it's going to be able to run six gigahertz uh, out of the box. Wow, so this is the, the six gigahertz processor that uh, that have been mentioned before in other events, right? That's correct. Uh, it was teased uh, pretty recently at Intel Innovation by our CEO, Pat Gelsinger himself. Um, it is the famous processor that's uh, going to hit six gigahertz uh, of Turbo Boost Max. That is awesome. Okay, so I see that you have here a system. Tell us a bit more about the system, like the configuration and the whole thing. Yeah, this system right next to me here uh, is on, on our RVP platform. It's our reference validation platform motherboard. Uh, and it is running the new processor that I'm talking about. And today I'm going to show you um, the processor itself running uh, at full frequency. That's awesome. And uh, I see that, is that a, so what type of cooler do you have in there? Yeah, it's, it's running uh, standard um, off-the-shelf coolers. This is running a Corsair uh, all-in-one CPU cooler. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go, so you have a, a benchmark for us to run to actually be able to see that you're going to hit those uh, that six gigahertz. So which benchmark do you have here for us? That's right. Uh, so I'm just running uh, a seven zip benchmark here. Um, this way I can select a number of threads um, that could go on the benchmark itself. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start this one here. Uh, and, and then I have hardware info pulled up here. And with hardware info, um, we're monitoring the CPU frequencies live. Again, the whole point of this is to make sure that I'm not, I don't, I'm not showing any tricks. Uh, this is all running out of, uh, out of box factory default settings. Wow, that's awesome. So I can see here that core four and core five are hitting six gigahertz, but they're not staying always at six gigahertz. They come off and off, on and off. So what's, what's, do you know what the reason is that? Yeah, those are, uh, six gigahertz is our advertised uh, frequency and it's going to hit that for sure. Um, but, you know, hitting that stain on the six gigahertz really is, depends on the environment. Um, a lot of factors comes into play here, um, whether it's power budget, the thermals, uh, or in this case, in some cases, where the software itself, um, Windows may not be allocating to the right cores. Um, those all come to into play, but you can see on the on the hardware info itself, it's hitting the maximum frequency of five, six gigahertz here. Six gigahertz. <laughs> okay, that's, that's pretty awesome. So you're saying like, yes, it will hit six gigahertz there, but it's not gonna stay for forever six gigahertz. It all depends on, like you said, uh, the overhead that you have for thermals power and everything. That's pretty neat. So, we have this green motherboard. It looks very suspicious. Is there, <laughs> is there a way that we can uh, show uh, the viewers that it's actually just out of the box at six gigahertz? Yeah. So I, I have um, our extreme tuning utility. I know this is an overclocking utility that we have, but uh, why I show me what I'm showing you here is that everything's actually kind of grayed out. Um, that is on purpose. And when it's grayed out like that, that just means everything, all the settings and all the overclocking settings are actually locked uh, currently. So again, this is just to show that we are running at default settings. Uh, no tricks. Okay, so the RVP is locked, so you cannot overclock it. Correct. Okay. So just to make a little bit more emphasis on that point, how about we try to do the same thing to run the same uh, benchmark experiment on a motherboard, actually, that can uh, people can actually purchase out there. So I think you have another system here. What, what do you have? Yeah, this is a very similar system uh, right next to it here. This is our second one. Uh, it's running the same processor. Uh, and it's actually running on a, a production ASUS Z790 motherboard. So something you can purchase uh, from online retailers today. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I guess we're gonna go ahead and run the same benchmark, right? For that's right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start it. And again, hardware info is pulled up again. Uh, this one is showing the magical six gigahertz, not the rounded up number that we have. With the yeah, yeah, so it's rounded <laughs> up. Yeah, the other one we said like, yeah, uh, five point. 985, which is round up at 6 gigahertz here, which is 6 gigahertz, so that depends, but at least you still see the overall 6 gigahertz. And again, like you said before, it will get to 6 gigahertz, but it'll still come down depending on, on your thermals and power budget. That's correct. This yeah. is pretty, this is pretty exciting, and this is also like right off the box. That's correct. Uh, and this uh, processor is coming soon, and we really can't wait for uh, everyone of you to get your hands on it. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jason. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Have a good day. Thanks.